You're watching Tag TV. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the part of development. Hello, I am your host Emma and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. India's northeastern state of Manipur is a land of festivities. Merriment and mirth making go on round the year. Yoshang is one of the most important festivals of Manipur that combines both Hindu and indigenous traditions. Recently, the festival was celebrated with great fervor across the state. Take a look. The state of Manipur got soaked in the festive spirit of joy as it celebrated its most awaited festival of Yaoshang, the five-day extravaganza that marks the onset of spring. On the first day of the festival, a small hut, also known as Yaoshang, is constructed with bamboos and straws. Inside it, the idol of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the founder of Gauda Vaishnavism, is kept. The devotees keep a number of sweets and candles in front of the hut. As the sun sets, a ritualistic arti is performed and after the sweets are distributed among the devotees, the hut, which is regarded as the symbol of good over evil, is burned. As part of the festival, young boys and girls dressed in traditional attire go from door to door for monetary donations or naka thing. Children take special delight in this activity and the money collected is spent on merrymaking. On the second day, groups of local bands travel to the city's Govindaji temple while singing devotional hymns accompanied by musical instruments such as dholaks, cymbals and seashells. They converge at the temple to celebrate Pichkari Namit or Pichkari Day. Pichkari is a water gun commonly used to squirt colored water during the festival. After offering special prayers at the temple and performing all the religious rituals, devotees drench each other in colored powders and water, just like the holy festival is celebrated across the country. त्योहार बनाता है और गोविंद जी का माध्यम में संकृतन करता है और वही पेशकारी मारता है सब लोग को। The five-day sports festival held in every nook and corner of the state is another important aspect of Yaoshang celebration. Many games, which are easy to play and fun to watch, like sack race, are conducted either on the local grounds or on roadside to motivate the young ones to participate in various sports activities. This is the most remarkable difference between the Holy Festival in Manipur and other parts of the country. Moreover, a grand level event is also organized at a local sports complex in Imphal. On the first day of Yaoshang, children, local clubs and personalities converge at the city's Kangla Fort to light their torches and carry the sacred flame to this complex to inaugurate the sports meet. A number of games like cricket, football, volleyball are organized during the event. The primary idea behind Yaoshang sports meet is to allow the energetic youth of the state, which is already known as the powerhouse of sports in the country, to hone their skills in different sports. 
in modern times, there has been a trend of channelizing the festive energy towards sporting events to spot our talent at the grassroots level, and Yaoshang Festival is a great example of it. Festivals in India not just offer a temporary reprieve from the daily grind, but also promote the spirit of love and universal brotherhood. This was recently witnessed during the celebration of Hula Mohalla in Ponch town of Jammu and Kashmir when people from various walks of life came together to the celebration of annual spring festival of Sikh community. When rest of the country was soaked in colors celebrating the Hindu festival of Holi, the Sikh community residing in various parts of country, especially Punjab and Jammu and Kashmir, was observing the most auspicious Hola Mohalla festival. Commemorating the transformation of Sikh community into a martial fraternity, the festival was introduced by the 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh, as a gathering of Sikhs for military exercises and mock battles to counter Mughal Empire. Though Hola Mohalla is a celebration of courage and glory, this year it also became a manifestation of communal harmony when people of all castes and communities in JNK's Poonj participated in its procession. बड़ी मुबारक की बात है होली भी होला भी और शबे बरात भी ये तीनों चीजें इकट्ठी हैं और यहां पुंछ में जो कम्युनल हारमोनी है वो यहां दिख रही है कि इस वक्त इस जुलूस के साथ जो सिंह सभा से निकला इसमें मुस्लिम भी हैं हिंदू भी हैं और सिख भी हैं सब मिलके ये जुलूस के साथ आ रहे हैं और मैं सबको मुबारकबाद देना चाहता हूं to mark the occasion, Nihangs or Sikh warriors wearing their distinctive blue traditional costumes and decorated turbans displayed their bravery and skills in ancient martial art known as Gatka and sword fighting in a colourful ceremony. Proper security arrangements were done by the Poonch administration to avoid any chaos during the procession. हर साल दी तरह गुरुद्वारा श्री गुरु सिंह सभा दे विचों ए होले मल्ले दा नगर कीर्तन कटे गए ने और इस वेले असी नाखा दी सड़क दे चौक विच जिथे न्यांग दल जड़े ने वो अपने ट्रेडिशनल वेपन्स दे नाल वो प्रदर्शनी कर रहे ने एक पासे होली दा त्यौहार मनाया जा रहा है दूसरे पासे शब ए बारात मनाई जा रही है और इधर होला मल्ला मनाया जा रहा है इस किस्म दा कंपोजिट कल्चर इस किस्म दी सोच चढ़ी है ये पुच दे विच वेखन विच जो है वो नजर आंधी है महाराज बख्शिश करन आन वालियां नस्ला आन वालियां पनीरी जड़ी है साड़ी वो इस कल्चर नो समझ सके इस कंपोजिट कल्चर दी इंपार्टेंस नो समझ सके और उस दे मुताबिक जो है वो जीवन बतीत कर सके much enthusiasm was also witnessed in the Amritsar city of Northern Punjab state, where Golden Temple transformed into a show of glitzy display and looked majestic during the festival. As a part of the occasion, devotees carried the Guru Granth Sahib, the holy scripture of the Sikh, in a palanquin heavily decorated with flowers amid chanting hymns and spraying perfume all over. Reciting the story of bravery and faith, Hola Mohalla not only boasts of India's rich culture and heritage, but also brings the sense of oneness among people from diverse religions and communities. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indian Institute of Science incubates startup installed Southern Bangalore's first ever smoke tower to reduce the level of pollutants in the city. 
Nearly a week after the installation of the tower of the pilot project in a fight against pollution, scientists have observed almost 90% reduction in the ambient pollutants. It works on the nanotechnology basically. We made use of certain noble nanoparticles and we have coated on the membranes and we have dispersed in the liquid medium. And uh, from past uh, one week, even the Karnataka State Pollution Control Board is monitoring, uh, is as fixed the real-time analyzers and is also conducting the validation studies on the instrument that we have made. And it is working very fantastically and we have observed almost 90% reduction in the ambient air pollutants. Bruhat Bangaluru Mahanagra Palaik, the Bangaluru City Municipal Corporation and Karnataka State Pollution Control Board has set up a mobile facility at the spot to study the real-time effects and check the efficiency of the tower. Christians in India marked Palm Sunday by praying at churches to commemorate Jesus Christ's entry into the city of Jerusalem before getting arrested and crucified. This year, people marked the day only by visiting the churches as elaborated processions were not organized in the country amid coronavirus fears. Today is celebrated because of that, but uh, due to the pandemic, pandemic this uh, days, we are not able to have the procession, otherwise we would have a very solemn procession holding the palms and everywhere singing, singing. Palm Sunday is Christian's movable feast that falls on the Sunday before Easter. The feast commemorates Jesus' triumph entry into Jerusalem where he was greeted by the crowd by waving olive branches and by covering the path with olive and palm leaves. Palm Sunday followed by Good Friday and then Easter a significant event in the Christian culture that marked the journey of Jesus Christ. With an aim to channelize the energy of youth in positive and inclusive direction, an organization named Simit Defense Academy in Odisha's Jajpur has been providing free defense coaching to district's youth for the last three years. Run by 15 in-service defense personnel, the academy came into being when they were in their village while on leave and saw the youngsters involved in unproductive activities. So in the midst of 2018, they started providing free training to youth. When it started, around 15 candidates joined the academy and out of them, seven are working in the high positions today. सिलेक्शन में पहले सर हम यही रास्ता से दौड़ते थे हमको पता है कितना स्ट्रगल होता है उस टाइम हमारे पास जूता भी नहीं था सर और हम हम ये चाहते जो हम स्ट्रगल किया जो आगे वाले पीढ़ी को ये दिक्कत ना हो इसीलिए सर हम ये इंस्टीट्यूट ओपन किया है और सबसे खास बात ये है सर यहाँ पे फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट में हम बंदे को ट्रेनिंग देते हैं और दूर से जो बंदे आते हैं उनके लिए हॉस्टल की भी फैसिलिटी है सर the coaching provided to the young stars at the academy has been really useful for them to make it through the recruitment process of several defense-related posts. India is well known across the world for its unity in diversity. And this variety is implicit to Indian festivals as well. In Kanpur, an extra hue got added to the festivity of Bhai Dooj when people of two different faiths observed the occasion together. With this act, they not just celebrated the unconditional love bond between a brother and a sister, but also fostered the long-practice communal harmony in the country. For the last many years, a locality in the Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh has been giving a new meaning to the Hindu festival of Bhai Dooj. Every year on this occasion, both Hindu and Muslim people living here gather at one place and celebrate the occasion. While Hindu sister apply vermilion on the forehead of Muslim brothers and give sweets, the same is repeated by Muslim sisters as well. And today this tradition has become a medium to strengthen the bond between two communities. In India, 
Bahidur is observed since ages and have many tales associated with it. According to a popular legend in Hindu mythology, after slaying the evil demon, Narkasur, Lord Krishna, visited his sister Subhadra, who gave him a warm welcome with sweets and flowers and also applied a ceremonial tilak, a vermilion mark, on his forehead and hence the festival of Bhai Duj was born. Even though it is small Hindu tradition, but the way it is revered by the people of Muslim community in Kanpur has just increased its significance. यहाँ पे हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई ये मिक्स आबादी है यहाँ पे और हम सभी लोग सभी धर्म के लोग एक साथ मिलके त्यौहारों को सेलिब्रेट करते हैं उसी तरीके आज भाई दूज है तो कुछ हमारी मुस्लिम महिलाएं जो कि हमारे घर पे आती हैं बहनें और आके भाई दूज का टिका करती हैं अभी जब ईद पड़ेगी तो ईद में हम लोग भी जाते हैं मुस्लिम महिलाओं के घर में और जाके हम लोग भी ईद मनाते हैं Bhai Dooj is made up of two words, namely Bhai meaning brother and Dooj meaning the second day after the new moon, which is a day of its celebration. Holding a special significance in the lives of a brother and sister, the occasion is celebrated two days in a year. While the more famous one comes on the second day after Diwali, the other less popular one that comes a day after Holi is celebrated only by a particular community. Stereotypes and barriers are meant to be broken. A recent fashion show in Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir aimed at breaking all stereotypes regarding fashion in the Union territory and encourage more young stars to take up fashion and modeling as career option. Have a look. It's said that fashion is a part of culture. It's more than just a pretty dress. Promoting the same, a fashion event named the Kashmir Fashion Show was organized in Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir, where young men and women, breaking all barriers and stereotypes, showed off their modeling skills. The first of its kind event saw participation of candidates from almost all the districts of the Union Territory. After a number of auditions, 22 candidates were shortlisted who were then groomed in a 10-day workshop before the final event. This is the one of the first of its kind jo Kashmir mein ho raha hai everybody is very excited. Kafi logon ne mehnat ki hai aur jo talented hai who is you know participating in this fashion, they have really worked very hard. So yeah, looking forward to you know सक्सेस फॉर दिस इवेंट अभी क्या है कि अभी हमारे बॉम्बे से भी कुछ सेलिब्रिटी गेस्ट आए हैं तो उनके सामने देवल गुना वॉक और इनके लिए काफी यू नो प्लेटफॉर्म्स बन रहे हैं जो डायरेक्टली इनको बॉलीवुड में कनेक्ट करेंगे Participants dazzled in Indian and Indo-Western fusion attires as they walked down the ramp in presence of the audience and Bollywood celebrities Outfits designed by local fashion designers were promoted at the event for giving a platform to the hidden talent and fashion quotient of Kashmiris. Yahan pe modeling show rakha gaya hai actually a fashion show jo like kabhi nahi hua hai Kashmir mein kyunki yahan par bahut sari aisi stereotypes aur aisi thinking hai ki ladkiyan modeling nahi kar sakti modeling अच्छा नहीं है वो जो करियर है वो बिल्कुल भी लाइक सही नहीं है तो उसे ब्रेक करने के लिए ये आज शो रखा गया अ स्पेशल डांस परफॉर्मेंस वाज आल्सो ऑर्गेनाइज्ड टू ऐड मोर कलर एंड लाइफ टू द इवेंट फैशन इंडस्ट्री इज एन अनकॉमन चॉइस इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड इनिशिएटिव्स लाइक दीस इज लाइक अ सिल्वर लाइनिंग ऑफ होप फॉर मोर पीपल टू टेक अप फैशन एंड मॉडलिंग एज अ करियर ऑप्शन Next we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our new edition World in Focus. Japanese company Nissai has introduced a light yellow colored soft serve ice cream to tickle the taste buds of its customer with sophisticated sweetness and memorize them the traditional sweet culture of Japan. Funawa is a traditional Japanese sweet shop located in Ashakusha, Tokyo, was supported by Nisai to develop this ice cream which is known as Imo Yokan. 
It is made up of sweet potato and sugar which is first converted into a paste and then mixed with vanilla ice cream. Funawa is practicing all the precautionary measures against COVID-19 to enable its customer to have a safe and delectable experience.え、当社の店頭で何かあの、和菓子とは違ったものを販売できないかなということを考えまして、え、ソフトクリームを販売いたしました。なんとしてでもその食べる芋洋館の味をなんとかソフトクリームの中に the natural taste of sweet potato and cute appearance have also gained a reputation on SNS. This conglomeration of traditional sweet, emo yokan and modern sweet soft ice cream has offered a new style of sweets to foreign tourists. Next, we take you to a famous tourist destination in Japan, Kyoto, to feel the charm of the traditional culture and landscape. V-based Kyoto, produced by Reisam, is a hostel in the central town of Kyoto, which offers simple, affordable accommodation and targets the young travelers around the world. Hostel staff speak several languages and offer special hospitality services, which are not common in all hostels. とこちらホステルですので、共用の部分が多いんですけれども、お客様皆さん集まってゆっくり過ごしていただけるラウンジ、お部屋としましてはドミトリータイプ、カプセルタイプですけど、え、あとは個室、2段ベッドの個室です
The farm processes its own purple tea which is sold directly to Chinese buyers. The business also has clients in Canada, Sweden, the United Kingdom and the United States. The tea is also produced in China and Japan and Kinyanjui has 20 acres of the purple variety alongside 100 acres of the usual variety. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at the rate anin.com. I'm your host Emma and it's goodbye from the entire production team.